All right, boys, so I've been thinking about using this build for a while now and decided to actually test it out. And let me tell you, this thing is absolutely crazy. Think about having Dragonfly, where you just put it on a bunch of steroids. This build has weapon damage buffs and explosions literally everywhere that you can clear out an entire room of ads. So let's go ahead and jump right into the build. Our aspects for this build are Soul Invictus and Roaring Flames. Soul Invictus is going to help us stay alive by standing in those sunspots and giving us restoration, as well as giving us a boost to our ability recharge rate. Roaring Flames is going to allow us to increase the damage of our solar abilities, which is going to be nice because we want to consistently get those one taps with a throwing hammer. As for our fragments, we're using Ember of Torches, Ember of Empyrean, Ember of Eruption, and Ember of Blistering. Literally all of our fragments are really important for this build because Ember of Torches is going to allow us to become Radiant, which is really, really important for this build. Ember of Empyrean is going to allow us to extend the duration of Radiant and Restoration upon getting a Solar Weapon Final Blow. Ember of Eruption is going to increase the damage and size of the ignitions, which is this, this is an ignition build. And then getting ignition final blow is going to grant us grenade energy. Now moving on to our loadout, you really have a lot of flexibility with your kinetic slot. I chose my deliverance because I have enhanced demolitionist on it and I want to add to my grenade spam. But if you want to go with a shotgun or a grenade launcher or something like that, you feel free, whatever works best for you. I just really recommend demolitionist because you want to have pretty good amount of grenade spam because our melee we can just pick up our hammer and i have 100 resilience already and restoration will come from the sunspot so really the only thing you want to generate is a lot of grenade energy now as for our energy slot here's where things aren't as free you need to use a solar weapon with dragonfly and that is because we're also using razor precision with his build now a razor precision does is it states that while radiant solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite so what this does when you paired with dragonfly is when you're Radiant, you get a headshot kill, Dragonfly procs, and then shortly after, the ignition from Razor Precision procs. So you get the first explosion of Dragonfly, kill a couple of adds, then you get the second explosion from the ignition, which is a huge explosion, and you can literally clear out entire rooms, and it has a much bigger radius than you think. And that's because we're also pairing this with Solar Fulmination. Now what this does is it allows our solar ignitions to do even more damage in an even bigger radius this pair with ember of eruption our solar ignitions are going to do insane damage in an insane radius and razor precision is just going to allow that to happen with ease because we're going to be radiant most of the time with our throwing hammer so moving back to our primary weapon now i decided to use an ancient gospel with rapid hit dragonfly you can also use a death adder uh, i'm not sure if it drops anymore but i have subsistence dragonfly you really want to use a weapon with dragonfly now i did try it with incandescent and it's good i just found it to be better with dragonfly this really isn't a scorch build this is just straight up ignite build with explosions and i felt that dragonfly helps us accomplish that more because the scorch doesn't really do anything i'm trying to do damage and the incandescent doesn't really do that much damage but it is nice if you want to build more into the scorch aspect of solar 3.0 and for my heavy i'm just using lament i am using fonts of might so it really makes sense to use all solar weapons um for a nightfall though you're gonna have to use what you have to use with depending on the element you need but for this gameplay, I was using Lament because it's a solar sword and Ancient Gospel was a solar hand cannon. So I'm using Fonts of Might and I'm also using Path of the Burning Steps, but I'll get to that in just a moment. Now, as for our stats, I am using 100 Resilience because, well, why not? Resilience is really good this season. You don't have to worry too much about recovery because of sunspots. Um, I have 91 Discipline. I tried to get to 100, but my Path of the Burning Steps just aren't really that, that nice when it comes to our stat distribution. But if you're able to get 100 Discipline, definitely go for it. And you don't have to worry about strength because we can pick up our throwing hammer and like i just stated a moment ago we're also using path of the burning steps now what this does is it grants us the armor perk firewalker it states that solar final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage now the second part of this exotic is definitely geared for pvp it states that you're harder to slow or freeze with stasis and when you break out you take no damage from doing so creating a burst of solar energy around you Honestly, I feel like that's kind of useless now because of how short the stasis freeze is. They should kind of rework that second part, maybe just a little bit. But that first part, solar final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage. Now, if you notice, it doesn't say solar weapon final blows, just straight up solar final blows. So even if you weren't using solar weapons and just using a solar subclass with throwing hammers, uh, or grenades or anything, as long as you're getting solar final blows from somewhere, it'll keep giving you that weapon damage buff. 
and that all the way at times four firewalker times four is a 40 percent weapon damage buff and this does stack with fonts of might so we're looking at a 40 percent weapon damage buff from firewalker times four and then fonts of might grants us a 25 percent weapon damage buff but to solar weapons only and since i'm using all solar weapons I have a 65% weapon damage buff as long as I have my build going. And unfortunately, it does not stack with Radiant, so we're mainly just using Radiant in order to proc Razor Precision so we can get those ignitions going. As for the other mods that make our build work, we're using Fonts of Might, Melee Wellmaker, Explosive Wellmaker, Well of Ordinance, and Seeking Wells. Fonts of Might is going to give us that juicy 25% weapon damage buff to solar weapons upon picking up a solar elemental well which will spawn with Melee Wellmaker and Explosive Wellmaker. Explosive Wellmaker is really, really good for this build because we're gonna be creating tons of explosions with Dragonfly, with our grenades, with the ignitions. So our Explosive Wellmaker is very nice. We're also using Well of Ordnance, mainly because of my class item on my Titan Mark. I only had one energy available, so I figured I would just slap it on there. I mean, it works, but it's not really, we're not building into it, I just didn't know what to put as for my mod there and then we're also using seeking wells for that ease so that we don't have to run around and picking up these elemental wells so there's the build boys definitely try it out this is slowly becoming my new favorite titan build i just love seeing explosions everywhere and this build takes that to the next level so get yourself those seasonal artifacts get path with burning steps and get a solar weapon with dragonfly put this build together and i promise you you will love it just as much as i do but if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share. It truly helps me out a lot. You can also check out my other videos. Go check those out. Leave a like. Leave a comment on those ones. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Deuces.